the Lagos State Commissioner of Police, Ido Owongwa, has conveyed a meeting with critical stakeholders in ensuring peace in Lagos ahead of the governorship election scheduled for March 11, 2023. The specific purpose of this urgent meeting is to review current security developments in the aftermath of the 2023 presidential and national assembly elections in Lagos State and the tension and wide apprehension emanating therefrom. This has become imperative, granted that from the police operational perspective, since the conclusion of the exercise on Saturday, 25 February 2023, we have responded to not less than 70 security-related collapse by negotiators. Instructively, however, Nearly 80% of such presumed distress calls was found to be informed by false feedbacks that were likely informed by apprehension and misinformation and fueled by fake news from elements that seem to be bent on feasting on the post-election tension to destabilize the peace and order in Lagos State for inexplicable reasons. Meanwhile, political parties, traditional rulers, religious groups, youths, market leaders, media influencers and opinion molders are not left behind in the deliberation to achieve a heat-free electoral process. This is issue of governance. It's also important we are talking about security to also look toward the direction of ensuring that those that they call the street orchards, they call them Abu. Governance issue must ensure that we take them out of the street and make them to enjoy a reasonable life. Because when a man goes to school, his level of reasoning is different. His level of understanding of issues are different. I went to East to go and vote. In my polling unit, APC was voted for. PDP, they were voted for. All other political parties, and nobody molested. I also saw it in many, many areas in Lagos where there are enlightened, enlightened elites. They all came out peacefully and voted for the candidates of their choice. In addition, Femi Falano also expressed his pleasure on the military's involvement in an election following the democratic system while appealing to the Commissioner of Police to speed up in collaborating with the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and the Resident Electoral Commissioner, REC, as the governorship election is less than nine days to the gubernatorial polls. To who much is given? To who much given? As so much is expected of the police. And I must confess to you that many people were not happy over the management of elections last Saturday. And I was embarrassed when I was told that in certain places, soldiers had to be brought in to allow and create an enabling environment for people to vote. I wasn't happy because I have a campaigning that the police should manage our elections, provide security for people who want to vote. So I want to suggest that for next Saturday, we must fully rely on the police. Must give us confidence that the police will be prepared to manage the events of the 11th of March. Everybody wants to vote. An election is what you call in other countries, including in Ghana, festival of democracy. An election is a festival of democracy. It's not a war. But criminal elements have turned elections in Nigeria to a war. And let us make an example in Lagos. In the same vein, Joe Odumaki also commends the officers and men of the Lagos State Police Command for their proactiveness and professionalism during the presidential election while imploring INEC to do everything within its capacity to ensure the arrival of sensitive and non-sensitive materials to various polling units across the state to avoid delay people experienced during the presidential and national assembly elections. Materials were very, very late. And INEC assured us that for those who even started very late, no one that is on the queue for 2.30 will be disenfranchised. But as the countdown begins, we have 10 more days. There must be 
concerted efforts on the part of INEC in ensuring that logistics problem that we had during the presidential does not reoccur. We have we, we, we've seen uh, cases of harassment and thuggery. And like we always say, if those who break the law are not brought to book, it's going to embolden the perpetrators of such heinous acts. March 11 will be coming out again. So we want to see those who have perpetrated heinous acts, those who break laws, who engage in torture, all of them should be brought to book. A furthermore, Are Iba Ghani Adams is ably represented by Barrister Yinka Oguntimi, who sees the privilege to employ youths across all local government areas of Lagos State to come out in mass to vote for their choice of a candidate without fear of favor or intimidation by any political party. The young Nigerians, because they are the majority as regards voting strength, is that. Uh, we should all double up our efforts and come out and mass on the 11th of March yep. to exercise our franchise and choose the leaders we really want to lead us in the country. That is the only way we have to do. Nigeria is not short of the requisite laws and the solution to our problems. But just like the earlier speaker said, because of the, the selfish interest of some of our political leaders, that's the, that's the reason why we have we are we have the economy. In conclusion, CP Ido Owenwaf urged Lagosians to desist from any form of disruption and violence during, before and after the governorship election scheduled for March 11, 2023. In Lagos, Olayinka, Olatunji reporting for Newsbuster and GTV.